Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel. I'm whispering today because I have a sleeping baby right next door. But today I'm gonna share with you guys my girl's shared space. So if you're new here, welcome. I'm Chrissy and I have three little girls. Brooklyn who is six, Kenzie who is three and a half, and Addison who is six months old. So my six year old and my three and a half year old, they share a room and they have shared a room for the past I don't know, two years or so, almost two years. So it has actually gone really well. They actually struggled sleeping in their own room, as crazy as that sounds. And so once we put them together, they sleep pretty well. So I'm gonna take you around the room and show you how we've got it kind of organized. And yeah, give you a little tour, so let's go. Okay, so <laughs> you're probably gonna hear Addison in the background, but this <laughs> this is what it looks like when you walk in the room. If you remember before, if you're an OG here, we had two twin beds, one right here and one right here. And when we did that, we had no room for a dresser. And so we moved this dresser over from Addison's room, which you'll see her room tour here shortly. And we had like a little brown chest right here that we stuffed their clothes in so actually right now it's really nice to have that extra space for them to sit and read or play or have a dresser so these beds are from Walmart and I like them for two reasons so it is a convertible bunk bed so you let's say the bunk bed situation didn't work out or later on they don't want bunk beds they can come apart to make two twin beds. So that was one of the main reasons why I went with this style type of bunk bed. And then the second reason is because, because you can do that, it doesn't go as high as a traditional bunk bed. And I knew if it was any higher than this, honestly, Brooklyn would not sleep on top, which is where she sleeps. So, so far we really like these beds. <clears throat> they did take forever to come. They did take forever to put together, but we like them. The girls like them. So it has been a win for us so far. So they have their little doll bunk bed right there. But the bedding is from Target. I love this bedding. With this room, I wanted to go for simple and light, but touches of girly and like touches of fun, which you'll see kind of throughout. But like I said, the bedding is from Target. I'm not sure if they still have it. I got it when it was on clearance for like 13 bucks, I think. But I like it because, like I said, it's simple, it's light, it's soft, but it has a little detailing on it that makes it just a little bit girly. And then they both just have some dolls. This one is actually from Target, which I'm pretty sure you can still get. So they're curtains. These are actually pretty old. They were in Brooklyn's nursery when she was a baby. But they are from, I want to say, Joss and Maine. If not, you can kind of get them from anywhere. But again, I like them because they're simple. They're blackout curtains, which we still, and I have this in Addison's room, we still line the back because they're not completely blackout. But I like them, like I said, because there's just little touches of girliness um, with the ruffled hem. And then we just added string lights up there to make it a little bit more magical and whimsical. And this corner, I have kind of made it their little reading corner which they have actually surprisingly used quite a bit um this swan head is that what it's called is from target pretty sure you can still get that too this i'm pretty sure sure you can still get this too it's from hobby lobby and then their pillows the black and white ones are from amazon it's just the cover and then this white one these are both from five below but this is actually their christmas pillow i just turned it around and then their mat, this was actually supposed to go in Addison's room. Um, we got it for her for Christmas, but the pink was just off. The picture made it look more mauve blushy pink, which is what is in her room, but, it, but it's a really light sort of ballet pink. So we stuck it in here, ends up still working, and then we just have their basket of books. I was going to put a shelf here. I still may um, to put their books, but... For the time being, 
I just prefer them, well, I just prefer them in a basket. I just think it's easier. I'm not worried about them ripping a shelf off the wall, trying to get them on and off. So that is their little reading corner. Back so. over to the dresser that I started talking about. This was a Goodwill find when Brooklyn was very little. I think we paid, I don't know, 30 or $40 for it. And it is solid. It is very heavy. But on top, I'll show you how we organize, organize our stuff here in a second. But I have these baskets that are my absolute favorite. Addison has one in her room. I have three in here. Just hold some of their bags, their purses, some of their bigger bows over there. And then we have their jewelry box and their okay to wake clock, which they don't use. <laughs> well, they're supposed to use it, but they don't. And then this mirror, which I'm obsessed with, is actually from my grandparents' house. And I honestly wish I had one for every room in my house. <laughs> That's how much I love it. Um, but it's in here for now. And it just, it's perfect. So that is that. Now, when it comes to organizing my girls' clothes, these three, well, these two are Brooklyn's. Those two are Kinsey's. This is Addison's clothes that she has not yet grown into. And this down here, we keep bathing suits. So I'm going to show you. I don't know how clean it is. So just, you've been warned. So Brooklyn, oh, it's pretty clean. Brooklyn keeps her pajamas, socks, and underwear. And then we keep pants and shorts in here. And then, like I said, their bathing suits and pool shoes. Y'all, I'm impressed with how clean these are, actually. Um... Kinsey's pajamas, socks, underwear, nighttime pull-ups, Kinsey's pants, and then some of her t-shirts. And then, like I said, this, this drawer is a little, little cray. All of Addison's, like, next size up. I think it actually goes through one year, so, are in there. And then we have this little area. I am obsessed with these pictures. They're, they're pretty old now, actually but I love them so much. And then this actually, I think I found, actually, I think this came from my grandmother's house too. It was gold and I spray painted it white and they just have a bag hanging there. Now I'm gonna show you the closet because one of my main things when putting both of my girls together was how am I gonna store all their stuff? And to be honest, the secret is to just get rid of a lot of it <laughs> so that you don't have a lot. But this is their closet. I actually did a closet redo on this channel a while back. I had the bookshelf down here, but it was just getting to hold clutter. And so if something holds clutter, I'm just going to get rid of it. So this is what we're working with about this way over is Kinsey's clothes or from here over is Brooklyn stuff. And then in the bottom, I just have this basket where I keep their stuffed animals, Barbie dolls, kind of all that stuff that, you know, tends to go everywhere and back here i don't know if you'll be able to see very well i keep their school stuff artwork all that kind of stuff that i want to keep in space bags there's probably a better system but for now that's what we do um i have shoes right down here an extra monitor and i have shoes that they will fit into this summer that i bought at the end of last summer they have this stool. This is from Five Below. Brooklyn uses it to get to her clothes. And then I have this basket just of shoes that are either not worn every day or they're kind of like in between sizes. Maybe they're too small for Brooklyn, but yet too big for Kinsey. I keep those there. And then just some of their doll stuff. And then, so up here I keep clothes that are, they're just kind of in between sizes. So like I will pull these down when summer comes and they will be for Kinsey. And then these are clothes that she has outgrown but are still too big for Addison. And then in this basket, Addison's crying so I'm trying to wrap it up. In this basket we keep their costumes, their play clothes, dress up clothes, that kind of stuff. And then I just have bags for when we travel. So that is their closet. And so yeah, that's it. That is our girl's bedroom. Again, like I said, it's a very small room. 
So if we can do it and you're kind of wondering if you should put your kids in the same room or not, just try it, do it. It can be done. It's very much doable. Um, and our kids love it. I have actually mentioned to Brooklyn um, having her own room and she didn't want anything to do with that. So um, we may end up even putting all three of our girls in the same room together. That may be a little nutty, but I think it would be so fun. So that is it for today's video. Again, if you are new, thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the like button for more house stuff and lifestyle videos. And yeah, we'll see you in our next video. Bye.